Let's take a minute and review what we've just done in our last video. We first created an array that held a bunch of objects. In our cases, we were able to add planet names. Here, in this example, we're adding dog names like Sparky and Marshmallow, as well as string names like Hello and Shout. We're able to update our table view dynamically using these names by using the objects from our array to supply information to our table view. And since our table view has the parameter of index path, where we can access the row of our current index path, we're able to index into our array and get objects back that are text and update those to our table view. When we think about this a little conceptually between the model, controller, and view, we want to remember that our model data could be our names of our Earth, or it could be from an API such as Twitter or Facebook. A lot of the time our model can take the form of data which is not always initialized in view did load as we've been doing in the past. Other times your model may be a database which has stored items. One frequently used database is Core Data, which we'll dive into later. Hargening it back to the MVC design paradigm, if our model is decoupled from our view, then it's okay if we switch from Instagram photos to Flickr photos. Our view will stay the same, and we'll just have to update our view controller. So here we see that the controller sits in between the model and the view, and specifically in this case, we're taking information from some model and displaying it in a table view.